Welcome to this series of instructional videos using Hydrocurl Artists paint products. Hydrocurl is an Australian manufacturer of colour and mediums with over 30 years experience in the marketplace. My name is Donna Richardson Hyde and I've been testing, mixing and using the Hydrocurl range of paints and mediums in my own art practice. I have a background teaching colour theory and mixing at tertiary level in Australia for over 28 years. The most effective way to understand colour mixing and application is by testing and observing and recording results. With each workshop, you may download exercises which accompany the video. Simply go to the links to download the exercise sheets and begin to explore the fascinating world of colour mixing and application. In basic colour mixing, we examine the role the colour wheel plays in guiding our approach to colour mixing. It will assist you to gain an understanding of the primary, secondary and tertiary colours and how to mix them. We will explore how, using varying hues of a single colour, for example red, can alter the final colour result when mixed with a second colour. What is the colour wheel? Well, the colour wheel is a method for organising colour for mixing. And historically, there have been many different colour theorists and different approaches to colour mixing. So there's not just one approach. While most experienced artists mix colour intuitively based on the colour palette they prefer to use, it's helpful to use a colour wheel when gaining experience in colour mixing to experiment with how colours behave when mixed together. One of the most common colour wheels for, in use by artists as a reference for colour mixing is the 12-part colour wheel which was developed by Johann Ittens who was an artist and teacher at the famous Bauhaus School of Art, Craft and Design in Germany from 1919 to 1923. There's an example here of a colour wheel and it's made up of the three primary colours, red, blue, yellow. These are known as pure hues and they can't be mixed from other colors and they're used to mix all the secondary and tertiary colors which appear on the 12 part color wheel. The three secondary colors are orange, green, and violet. These are the colors that result when you mix two of the primary colors together. So for instance to mix um, orange you would be mixing primary red and primary yellow to get your orange and so on. The tertiary colors and there are six of them are the colors in between a primary and a secondary color. So you've got colors like red violet, blue violet, blue green, yellow green, yellow orange, red orange. So again tertiary colors are achieved when you mix a primary and a secondary colour together. The results of colour mixing will vary according to the colours, known as hues, that you choose to use to make up your basic colour wheel. And this is because there isn't only one blue or red or yellow to choose from. For instance, if we go over to look at the different colours that Hydrocurl produces, we see that we have three reds, we have four yellows, and we have four blues. What this means is that depending on your combination of um, primary colors, primary mixing colors, you will get different results with the, the color wheel that you mix or the colors that you mix. Now let's go back and look at these two color wheels. Depending on which combination of primary colors you use, the mixed secondary and tertiary colors will vary. So you do need to experiment um, on which different reds, yellows and blues you decide. Um, in other words, which combination of primaries you prefer. And an example of this is two different color wheels here using 
different sets of blues. That one's ultramarine blue, that one's phthalo blue, and different reds and different yellows from the hydrocurl range. And you may not be able to pick it up on the camera, but each of these is altered quite differently, especially with certain colors. So, for instance, the um, violets here are quite brown, and uh, they're slightly different there. So you need to be able to mix them first to see what the results are. Now we're actually going to go to mixing a primary and a secondary color to get a tertiary color, and we're going to mix uh, two primaries to get a secondary color. Um, and just show you how simple it is uh, to do. We're going to begin by mixing two primary colors, the Hydrocryl Mid Red and Lemon Yellow. And this will achieve a secondary orange. Now, what I find when I do this is that I need slightly less red than I do yellow because yellow isn't quite as strong a colorant as red. And so you tend, in order to make it uh, make a good orange that isn't too red, you actually need more yellow. So I'll just mix this up and what I find is I have to use all the yellow that I put in my palette and not as much orange or, or uh, red. And that's still looking very red to me so what I need to do is actually put more yellow in and you you can adjust this by eye. Um, I always have a separate palette for my colors and then mix the um, third color in the center palette. So we're trying to mix an orange from the red and the yellow and what we're going to do is increasingly add more yellow. So you can see we've used almost double the yellow as to the red. So we're not just mixing by measuring, we're mixing by eye. And that's quite important because if you refer to the color wheel it will give you an idea of the yellow that you're aiming for. And it's starting to become more orange but it's still very very red. So I'm going to just add a little bit more yellow again and see how we go. All right, we're almost there, but I am going to add a tiny bit more. So mixing by eye and understanding that it isn't necessarily equal parts of both primary colors in order to achieve the orange that you're trying to achieve. So let's put a bit more in. These colors are very viscous and because the pigment is so intense, it uh, really does um, mix beautifully. Okay, I think we're pretty much there with a good strong orange. Now, when I lay it on the paper, I usually use a flat brush and I lay one direction, like so. And when I've allowed that to dry, I'll lay a second direction, going in the opposite direction, a second layer, and then a third layer, depending on how intense you want the color to be. Right now it's pretty, pretty intense. So there's our first little exercise. Two primaries to achieve a secondary color. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make mix a primary so in this case red and a secondary orange to achieve achieve a tertiary color which is red orange so you remember the struggle I had to um, get an orange that wasn't too red because the red is so strong um, well I'm going to add to the orange, to the secondary, I'm going to add a bit more of the red, which is the primary, till I get a good red-orange that's slightly differentiated from the orange. So here we go. 
So we're mixing a um, primary red and a secondary orange and the idea is to achieve a tertiary color which is red orange. These colors are all on the warm side of the uh, color wheel so they harmonize beautifully together and again and you can see that is more red more like a red orange than an orange so this is a tertiary color okay Now we're going to do a third tertiary color and it's going to be yellow orange. So leaning more to yellow than it is um, to orange. So the best way of doing that by using these colors you have available on your palette is to use your primary yellow and pop in a bit of the secondary orange and you now know that we made that more red so we're going to use only a small amount to change the color of the yellow to a yellow orange um, and I'll point them out on the color wheel too in a minute so that you have that as a reference okay so let's just mix up this tertiary color and I'm going to take a very small amount and it doesn't take much to get a yellow orange again we're not using equal amounts are we we're just working by eye so we need a tiny bit more and paint it on The yellow seems to be a little bit more transparent um, than the other two colors. It's quite a beautiful yellow. So there's your pure yellow, there's your pure red, there's your orange, your red orange, and now your yellow orange. So a secondary, two tertiary colors. And what that gives you is a harmony, a color harmony, which is um, I'm just going to move this the other way to get an even coat. That's the trickiest thing to do is to get a good even coat of color. There we go. It's starting to work now. Okay. So, from two colors, yellow and red, we've achieved five colors. We've achieved this color and the orange and the red orange and you could extend that whole range but this is where a starting point for you to help you to understand how you can manipulate color 